Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be painting a jaguar in the jungle. Find the center of your paper with your finger. This is where you'll draw the eye. Draw a small circle and then a curved line back on each side for the rest of the eye. In front of the eye, draw a letter J. This will be the jaguar's muzzle. Then draw a triangle for the nose. Draw a straight line back from the nose to the top of the letter J. Then draw a small straight line up. Draw a straight line back for the top of the head. Next draw a curved line like a hill for the ear. Then draw a small hill line inside. Draw a straight line all the way to the side of the page. This is the back of the jaguar's head and neck. For the front of the muzzle, draw a straight line down from the nose and then back. And then up for the side of the head. Finally, draw a line from the chin to the bottom of the paper. Now it's time to add the background. Draw some different shaped leaves and flowers. Make sure to look at the handout for ideas. Notice when I draw a leaf, I draw the stem first and then make the curved lines around it. Now let's add a flower. Be sure to draw the plants nice and large, so then they'll be easier to paint. Here's a fun fact. Did you know jaguars are most active at dusk and dawn when it's a little dark? Be sure to take your time and fill in the background with lots of different leaves and plants to make it look like a real jungle. Now it's time to paint. Start with white and fill in the corner of the jaguar's eye. Wipe off the excess white onto the jaguar's fur. Then dip your brush in the yellow and add it to the white, mixing it on your paper. Add a little white to the top of his ear. Then again, wipe off the excess white onto the jaguar's fur. Now add a little bit of the orange. If you look again at the photo of the jaguar, you'll notice that his fur has flecks of white, yellow, orange, and red orange. So have fun mixing these colors on your paper. Since we are using tempera paint today, you can let an area dry for a bit and then paint over it again for a stronger, more opaque color. The word opaque is the opposite of transparent. Jaguars live in the Amazon rainforest. Did you know they're the third largest cat in the world after the tiger and the lion?
I think I'm done painting his fur. Now we will put our project on the drying rack. Today we will be painting the flowers and leaves. Take your time and paint carefully. Remember to use your paintbrush like a ballerina. Keep it up on its tippy toes. Instead of rinsing your brush in a water bucket today, you'll be wiping your brush on a messy mat to get rid of most of the paint before dipping it into your next color. The background space around the flowers and the leaves will remain the color of the paper. When you're finished painting, put your project on the drying rack for the day. Today we will be going over our lines again with a black oil pastel. Be sure to look at the handout while you're tracing back over the lines. Now let's add some dots to the muzzle. Make three rows of dots coming out from the nose. Now let's go over the lines again on our plants. Now it's time to add his spots. On his head, we'll add some irregular shapes. And then on his neck, we will be adding rosettes. The spots on his face should not look like perfect circles. They should look like irregular shapes or little blobs. The spots on his neck are called rosettes because they look like roses. To make a rosette, make a small circle and then four spots around it.
There, I think that looks like enough spots. The last step is to use a white oil pastel to add his whiskers. Draw some long, swooping lines coming out from the dots on his muzzle. And then add a few above his eye. Touch up a little white around his ear, and then you're done. I hope you have fun creating a jaguar in the jungle.